this is another video from codeworks this is a continuation video to the earlier video quick shot part 1 hope you enjoy it <coughs> now i'm going to call the partition non uh, uh, partition value i'm going to call the partition function now and as you can see here um, partition function returns an integer value so I'm going to store that value um, in a variable named Q in Q here then Q equal to partition partition yeah. Q equal to partition then I'm going to pass the array here then P then R okay now I am going to call quick sort again this function q sort and it would be like this q sort a p the initial position <coughs> up to q minus one because the because um, because this partition function what this does is it sorts the um, it does not sort the array it finds the correct position of the last element of the array that is the uh, rth element it finds the correct position and it puts in the array so um, uh, uh, so now i'm going to perform q, uh, quick sort on the array from initial position up to the uh, position that sorted up to q minus 1 then this function I'm going to call again from uh, q minus 1 up to r means the last element okay uh, I think after this tutorial I'm going to show you a diagrammatic representation how this is happening then it will be more clear to you I guess okay the quick start function is done and now I'm going to call the main function okay I didn't make any spelling mistake that's good news okay now main function int main uh, I'm using code blocks here and in code blocks there's no scope of void main so I have to use int main now return a dummy value suppose I will return 0 here now I'm going to declare an array here up of 10 elements and equal to let's give the element here like 8 7 0 20 60 5 then 3 how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay more 3 then 7 then suppose 45 then suppose 1 okay let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay. I have 10 elements here <coughs> as I need um, if I need other variables I would uh, initialize them later okay I need a counter here because I suppose because I want to print the array from, um, first the initial array then I would print the final array okay this is the code to print the array as you already know I guess suppose for <coughs> i equal to 0 i less than equal to 9 i plus plus 9 because there are 10 elements and in this start from starts from 0 that's why up to 9 print f percent d Um, a i a i this will print the ith element of the array okay okay this is done here this will print the array first now I'm going to print a blank space here um, printf a blank line not a blank space printf 
then final array final array like this okay now I'm going to call the quick sort function here q sort let's see here okay quick sort then the array the initial index the final index okay now I'm I have called this function quick sort this would sort the entire array now I'm going to print the value again um, not a value then print the array again let's copy the code to print the array and then um, now let's run this code to see if I have made some mistakes here okay here's a mistake let's see what it is um, expected primary expression before in okay okay I, I have missed this thing okay um, okay there's some problem here okay the problem is here I guess okay in q it be q equal to q minus one okay okay this should be q plus one I'm sorry yeah it should be q plus one let's run this okay right oh I have to close this first that's why okay here you go this is the sorted array so as you can see here this is the one this was my initial array and this is my final array and I have sorted this using the quick sort algorithm and it's working as you can see here okay um, now I think I'm now I'm going to show you um, how this thing happens I'm going, to, I'm going to just show you a gist of it I'm not going to go into details maybe I will see it for another video um, if you want if you want me to make a complete video on how this works the algorithm just leave it in the comment below just leave a comment below and I shall address the problem okay here is like this um, suppose this is my array here and these are the elements here and this is my r here and this is the last element of the array and this is my x actually i'm going to sort the entire array with um, this as my um, reference actually then initially i is here that is before p i equal to p minus 1 as you can see it's before p and if there is if there is an element which is less than this x then actually i increments here and suppose j is here then these two gets swapped here like this okay then after the algorithm is done suppose this is the i i mean i the limit i is here then what have uh, the i is here and well Pixar means all the elements to the left of this thing um, x will be less than x and the right of this thing will be greater than x so suppose this is the correct position of x and i is here so i have to increment i to this position i will increment here and x should come here and whatever is here will be swapped here so this is what actually happens i think uh, this is clear to you now okay this is the video on quicksort um, if you like it do hit like and if you want anything else do comment below thank you